Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to add this pop-up to your Blogger website. Now this is how it works. We have this pop-up over here and if I click on this close button, it hides. And if I click on this display the stats button, it comes back up. And we also have this chart over here and for this chart, we are using a library called Chart.js. And I have shown you how to design all of this from scratch using HTML, CSS and JavaScript in the previous videos. I will leave the link in the description of this video. And I will also leave the link of the source code so you can just copy and paste the code. Alright, so this is what we're going to add in our Blogger website. So let's get started. Now this is the Blogger website where we're going to add our uh, pop-up. And we're going to add the pop-up to a post. So let's go to the dashboard of our Blogger website and let's go over here to theme. And here we can see I'm using this theme called Contempo Lite which comes by default with Blogger. Right now let's go ahead and add a new post and we will add this pop-up. So let's go over here to new post. And uh, for this I'll just add some title. I'll just copy this and add the title. Right now you can go ahead and write your article as usual. You can go ahead and add image and all of those things. But whenever you need to add this uh, button and this pop-up, you have to go over here to this button and click on HTML view. Because here we can add HTML, CSS and JavaScript code. Alright, so now let's go to the source code. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description. So let's copy all of this code to our blogger post. Now first of all, let's copy all the HTML. So let's copy from this line of code and let's scroll down. And let's copy it till here. So I'll just uh, press Ctrl C and let's go back to our post. And I'll just paste it over here. And now we need to add the CSS. So for that, I'll just create a style tag over here. And uh, in the style tag, we will add the CSS. So let's go back to our source code and let's go over here to style.css. And let's copy all of this from here. And let's paste it over here inside the style tag. Now you can go ahead and make changes to these styles over here. You can change the background color. You can change the width and all of these things over here. If you watch my previous videos, you will know how to design all of this. So you can go ahead and make changes. And here in the HTML, you can go ahead and change the data. So here we can see we have these game engines over here. So our chart is about popular game engines. And here we can see these uh, game engines, Unity, GameMaker and all those game engines. And this data is displayed over here. We can see these labels. And you can go ahead and add new labels over here by just typing comma and uh, adding the label inside double quotes. And you can also remove the labels over here. And uh, then you can go ahead and change the data. So you can change these values to whatever you have in your stats. And you can also change the background colors. And if you go to the chart.js website, you can find a lot of different options that you can use with this library. You can also change the type of the chart to bar chart or anything like that. And if you scroll up, we can see that we have the HTML over here. And you can go ahead and change the heading and uh, this text over here. And also the text of this button. All right, with that said, let's go ahead and save our post. So we have copied all the code to our post. So now let's click on publish and let's click on confirm. And now let's open this post and let's see whether we have any problems. So let's click on view. And we can see we have the display the stats button over here and let's click on the button. And we have the pop-up displayed over here and we don't have any problems. Everything looks all right. But uh, these uh, paragraphs, we can see that they are above this pop-up. So we have to add a Z index to our pop-up. So let's right click over here and click on inspect and let's add a Z index and let's see whether it works. So let's click on pop up container and here I'll just type Z index and let's set it to 100. And now we can see it works. So we have to add the Z index to our pop up container. So let's go back to our post and let's open the post. And here in the CSS inside the pop up container, let's add a Z index. So let's type Z index and let's set it to 100. And now let's update. Let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page. And now let's click on this display the stats button. And we have the pop-up displayed over here. And if you scroll down, everything works all right. And let's click on this close button and we can see that the pop-up disappears. So that's basically how you add a pop-up to your blogger website. So that's it for this video. I will leave the link of the source code in the description of this video. And if you want to learn how to design all of this from scratch, you can watch my previous videos. And I will leave the link of that as well. So that's it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. 
And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day.